If you would like to be entertained, who can stay at Rio? But there is so much more to Rio, so let's start from the beginning. Hello everyone, welcome back to Top Ranking Club. I'm Natalka and you know what we do here. We go on adventures to search for happy places and today we just arrived, just, just arrived <laughs> in Rio. Oh, Chirias. First time. I have no idea what to expect. I literally have seen a few pictures <laughs> online. I've read some reviews and that's about it. So, the reception staff was really nice. So, pick up the reception staff. I had a really good experience. I had to sit down. Uh, while the boys are sorting out the luggage and I'm like wow look at this yeah um, I'm gonna head that way guys I'm heading that way now okay all right see you in a minute What's really cool, I can actually see Ochi. I can see Moon Palace from, from Rio, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and I never thought I'm gonna be able to see it, but it's right there, right there. You might not be able to see, but it's just like there. <laughs> Rio Resort in Ocho Rios, Jamaica is a beachfront property. The grounds are split into two sections with reception and all the entertainment in the heart of the resort. Both sections are equally beautiful, have access to pools, are filled with lush greenery, yet they are different from one another and each has its own perks. Here you can see the section we stayed at. Something I loved about this part of the property is that it was quiet compared to the rest of the resort. The pools were less busy here, which is always a huge plus. Nevertheless, wherever your room is, you will have a great access to restaurants, bars and shops. All right guys, I think we just stumbled upon some tour or travel experiences. Oh, nice. Look at this one. Isn't that a nice t-shirt? I know you get to see some new designs. Yeah, they're nice. Buy one, get one free. On selected items. Oh, yeah. Oh, now they're speaking my language. I guess what? <laughs> Captain is in. Captain is in. Oh, <laughs> I was like, guess what? Captain is in. No, not yet, not yet. It's close. What? What? Oh, it looks nice. It does look nice. The other side of the resort is bigger as this is where most of the facilities are located. So there you go guys, there's a gym over here. There are people in the gym already. Nice. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello, little ducky. So much fish in there. Yeah. So much fish. Good morning, guys. It's officially our second day in Rio. Uh, so far, we've learned that the if you if you miss breakfast at the main buffet, they actually serve breakfast till twelve o'clock in Piacenza which is in the evening that's where the Italian restaurant is so that's pretty cool because we woke up really really late this morning um, the weather is a little bit stormy this morning so I'm not sure what we're gonna do for the rest of the day but I would love to go and check out some pools there are five swimming pools in Rio, as well as children's pool with lots of slides and a water park. And you will have access to all of them. Here you can see the pool closest to our room, which is a family infinity pool with built-in pool beds and accessible entrance. There are plenty of beach beds with umbrellas and shaded sun loungers for you to enjoy. This pool soon became our favorite spot to chill on the property. Jaden thinks this is the best pool, the one that's the furthest out on the property. I quite like this pool as well. What I love about this pool, guys, is that it actually has accessible uh, entrance or exit. You see that? Right here. That's no steps. You can just walk in. So, for example, for those less able, um, travelers this is brilliant yeah definitely recommend the last pool <laughs> in Rio <laughs> the one far far end it's good to know that you can also get your beach towels by this pool right next to the family pool is an adult only swim up bar with plenty of beach beds to rest on I love the design of this pool. Take a look at all the pool beds and built-in tables for you to rest your cocktails on, but also the seating feature by the pool's infinity edge, where the views are just breathtaking, especially at sunsets. And if you don't fancy taking a dip, you can access the reggae bar from the other side, also with fully accessible ramp. Now let's move on to the other section of the property where you will find three pools, the children's pool and the water park. 
So this is the pool I was telling you that looks like a sports pool because there are people are always playing a game in here. Right. So it is closed as you can see the sign for cleaning. Again, views on this side. Yeah. Beautiful. Now on this side is um, the adult uh, pool. I'll show you. I uh, will do a little peek over here. Okay. So you can swim up adult pool. And as you can see, what I was telling you before is you have tables um, all around, chairs all around. So it's always nice to you know to see that um, because in many many resorts you don't have that many so <laughs> people always wait around to, 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 to grab a seat by the bar or somewhere in the water so this is where yesterday they had games during the day uh, over here there was a stage it was music really nice um, vibe People are just eating. Um, majority of the people that sit here will probably get the jerk, jerk chicken from the Pepe's food restaurant. Um, and yeah, we were just over here. I think we sat somewhere there. Music was playing, such a good vibe. Um, and that's your bar. That's where you will get your drinks from. Um, moving on to the main, main, what I think, is the main pool funny enough i've not been to this one as yet reason why is always very very busy so there is a very similar pool on the other side behind this building and that's where our room is and yeah Now, out over there, you can see the breakfast has started already. So that's where majority of the uh, holiday makers have their breakfast. The park is located behind this section of the resort, just a short walk away. Alright guys, well, we missed the foam party in view which is a bummer because they are so much fun but we are at the um, uh, water park or splash park uh, so there is a really big one over here for um, babies and toddlers just over here and there are some slides for the teens and grown-ups so I'm going to show you that now I think this is the place to be if you're a teen and if, if you love slides this is definitely the hotel or resort for you check it out pour up a nice very nice and then right here you have that crazy one 
although I think this one is really crazy and the middle red one is very similar to that one so yeah um, yeah but Jaden loves it here so you know yeah <laughs> now this is where the parents <laughs> chill <laughs> pretty cool Terrifying. It was scary, but it was easy. <laughs> it was scary, but it was easy. And it was only scary for you. For me, for me, it was fine. Really? If you want scary, we go on that one. Which one? The red one. No. It's deceptively hard. Yeah. <laughs> All right, swim, 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 go for it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you can swim, you can swim. <laughs> uh, yesterday, we had a chance to go and uh, check out the um, uh, water park, and I must say, if you have kids or teens this is probably the place to be because JD absolutely loved it uh, there was lots of grown-ups uh, uh, sliding down those slides and so yeah it's a really nice family uh, section where you know people of all ages can enjoy so I definitely recommend you checking out the uh, water park and the splash uh, park for kids. Your man is busy and buzzy in Rio. <laughs> So this is the little alley that takes us to the water splash park and the cool part is I can just relax uh, on the beach bed while JD is sliding <laughs> on the slides. First thing he asked this morning, mom can we go to water park? <laughs> so yeah, so we're going. You see when we choose these uh, resorts, I feel that some places lack the teen factor. So you know they are introducing the teen clubs now, which is fine, which is cool, which is nice. But I think he sometimes gets bored in these teen clubs because you know there's only so much games you can play and you know. So here in Rio, this actual water park, you know, on top of any teen clubs that they have, it is a cherry on the cake. And yeah, look, look, he's literally like way in front of me. Yeah, he's ready. He is ready to go. <laughs> Are you, uh, <laughs> what's today? Tuesday? Yes. They closed for cleaning. <laughs> we just found out. So, that's on Tuesday. Um, unless they change it when you are here. But as things stand, 
slides are closed on Tuesday for cleaning. Keep that in mind. If you are only coming for short period of time, um, you know, and also it's worth asking someone as you as you actually get here ask the reception if you are looking forward to something specific let's say um, the phone party we read on the internet that is actually held on Wednesdays but it was held on Monday and we are here for a week meaning we arrived here on Monday by the time we uh, you know got the room and unpacked and had some lunch it was way over because as you know the check-in is around three we checked in a little bit earlier but as I said by the time we were ready the foam party was done <laughs> so it's worth checking uh, with the reception either way we missed the foam party which is always fun <laughs> So here you have it guys, um, the actual water park uh, and splash park for kids. Uh, how does it say? Open from 10, 10 till 5. It does say you can only stay here for one hour. I wonder how they monitor that. And how do you get your kids out? space for kids and parents <laughs> it's called Rio land Rio land we, we might not be able to see as much but check it out it's a soft play for kids and it's quite large guys um, in the corner you can see the ball pool here and I still believe it's probably closed it probably opens 10 o'clock as everything else mm -hmm. and then you've got the big boy slides on that side and just to show you guys the design you see here your loo your toilet is just around the corner so you don't have to run all the way to the main part there is also a seating area outside the um, Rio land and they are covered right now but you can get yourself some drinks in the corner over there so this whole building here seems to be the Rio land for kids I have no idea where we are but it does say Kingston here it's a huge room it looks like a conference room yeah it is a conference room awesome so cool to know and then you've got Jamaica that should be the same you just saw Kingston guys and again toilets just around the corner Guys, our room was located furthest away from the entrance. Therefore, there was a short walk to get to the water park. Something to keep in mind if you are traveling with young children. As you can see, the surroundings were stunning, so we absolutely didn't mind. Quite the opposite. It was a nice way to explore the property and learn our way around.
guys, if you are enjoying our video so far, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to check out more happy places like this, subscribe to our channel as we are on the quest to share as many top ranking locations in Jamaica as possible. Oh, and make sure to press the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. Oh guys, I love beaches in Caribbean. Isn't that just beautiful? I don't care what anybody says. Caribbean Sea is just beautiful. Good morning guys, as you can see it's early, we go up early just to do a little walk through the beach before we have plenty, plenty of people. Here is the pizza restaurant which is also a buffet in the morning for breakfast. Here is where we had the white party yesterday, last night actually. Really fun, so much fun. Right at the top, over there, there are two big screens. That's where the evening entertainment takes place. Uh, that's also where the bar is. over here yeah. a lifeguard is on duty already which is good to see as you see we came from one side where a couple of pools are on one side now we've got a couple of other pools on this side. Actually, about three. And that's not counting the water park. Can you see how big the actual beach is? It's very spacious. That's nice to see.
Now, another cool part about Rio is that they actually, uh, I've seen them this morning, they are clearing the, the coast, <laughs> the beach of the seaweed or anything else. So it does look really, really pretty. Now behind these screens over there guys, that's where the lobby is. Um, right next to it you've got a sports bar which is open 24-7 so you can, you can get your drink or some snacks. Things like patties, sandwiches and fruits, hot dogs I believe, a little bit of, oh yeah some pizza and obviously drinks. So that's pretty cool. And here is the section where you have the main, what seems to be the main pool because that's where all the activities take, take place, like aqua aerobic and so on. Here is a really nice Instagramable shot <laughs> for you guys. And guys, just look how many chairs. As I said, in Rio, I don't think you will ever have problem with a chair, and that's I think that's what they're going for. <laughs> they don't want have they don't want to have anybody saying I can't find this chair on the beach. I love that. And the view. That's the view you will have. Yeah. So now this is your volleyball. Really cool. And ahead of us, what I can see is a water sports center. So if you would like to venture out a little bit, um, I believe the non-motorized are usually included. We've not done anything so far, but we could. You should try, I think. Yeah. So let me show you that. Now, here you have the other side. Yeah. So all of these will be the ocean view. Right at the front, you will have ocean front. Uh, a little bit further in, garden view. Uh, and also, yeah. The jerk hut is just behind here and a lot of entertainment happening on this side. Uh, there are three pools, what seems to be a, f a family pool, then you have the um, adults pool. And then on the left in here, you've got the uh, sports, um, sports pool. I've seen people playing. Um, playing lots of different sports in there and here you have your non-motorized uh, water sports yeah I think we should try some one of those if the sea is calm that's always fun should probably try we should probably come and try one of these if the sea is calm especially if this 
Morning. <laughs> He can't hear you. <laughs> He's got earphones on. Morning, my mate. Good morning, my brother. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks for me having you guys in Jamaica. Say morning back to my friends in England for me. My name is Wayne from Manchester, Jamaica. And uh, welcome to School of Carol. Hello, calm down. Thank you. Don't let the wife smack you, know, my mate. You made a good choice. Brilliant. Thank you. That is such right. a good thing. Have a blessed day. Thank you. All Thank right. you so much. <laughs> That's amazing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh wow. There's a swim area. And then your sports day. Okay. All right. In my opinion, Rio has a perfect beach. Really. It's spacious and full of palm trees. Therefore, there is always a great balance between sunshine and shade, plenty of beach beds, and the sea is shallow and clear of seaweed. We enjoyed it on both a calm and a rough day, even if it was just to watch the waves crashing on the coast. And here is the comparison. Jim just literally just went for it. Wow, the the waves are the waves are on. storm the way we was it was raining heavily this morning and apparently there is a storm out there that's meant to be day, today and tomorrow so we might just do a pass on um, the sea <laughs> for today and tomorrow and then come back when it's calmer you see what I mean I want to the edge of that. Look at the wave coming. Look, look, look. <laughs> Let's go. Hold me, hold me. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, little tip about booking a room in resort okay I feel like some of us just look at the word mountain and ocean and it's either one or one way or the other and actually there is many different types of accommodations and different views and one that is I find probably the most tricky is the ocean view and ocean front Right? So when you put them next to each other, it makes sense. But I need to mention that, you see right here, we've got ocean front. Majority of these on this side of the property will be ocean view. And anything that's facing the other side might be garden view. Meaning that when you have a room somewhere there you will see you will view you will see the ocean but you are not at the front okay so this is important that you know that because I hear a lot of people uh, disappointment where they realize that it's not right at the front now saying that remember the ocean front 
most likely will be the most expensive also the top floors again tend to be most expensive not always but um, they are tend to be the penthouses and you know the top top um, VIP rooms so keep that in mind if you are fast about this thing uh, if you're not fast uh, probably won't make any difference to you uh, I personally like all the different views I think uh, if you've seen my previous videos you probably know by now that I like all of them except for the parking lot <laughs> that's the one I uh, don't like so much but I don't mind if it's the garden I love the garden view I love the mountain view I love the uh, half water full ocean view doesn't matter to me because I'm in Jamaica and that's the bottom line so maybe in other parts of the world <laughs> would be a bit more relevant but when you're in Jamaica it really doesn't matter <laughs> So guys, yesterday was raining. <laughs> it was raining in the daytime and it was, you know, a little bit overcast. So, and the sea was a bit rough. So I couldn't really show you the full beauty of this beach. Now today, so far, and it's very early in the morning, the sea is beautiful, the skies are clear on both sides really yeah a little bit of clouds over there but it is looking good so well i don't know where the date will take us but so far ah, so far it's really really good yeah yes now always asked me how do I raise this hotel and I couldn't answer um, yesterday because I've not tried the beach I've not seen the beach in its full glory and so yesterday I couldn't answer the this question I couldn't compare it to other resorts because I didn't know if the sea is nice or not now that I'm in I must say it's really good uh, it's nicer than some other top resorts guys because as I was saying early this morning there's not much seaweed um, and it is shallow for for quite a bit so there is more space um, the beach itself is very beautiful uh, the palm trees that's what does it for me and it's spacious so I do rate this hotel guys, um, Rio in Ocho Rios is um, one of the cheaper Rios, okay, so it's more affordable, um, I, I actually don't know why, <laughs> but I'm not complaining, you know, um, so I would definitely recommend Rio as your next holiday destination. Um, and. This is not just my opinion, uh, the boys said exactly the same, uh, they would come back. There are different aspects that they love about this place, but overall, I would say Rio has a full package and I, I always look for that uh, because I do travel with, you know, people of different age group. So it's important for me that there is something for everybody and it's important that the food is nice it's important that you know there is um, 
the beach is important actually guys the beach is important the staff is important you know uh, I mean some things that we take for granted sometimes they are important you know like comfy bed <laughs> yeah but so I when I when I give you the feedback on these resorts I take all of these things into consideration um, there are some things that I might not talk about um, which are like obvious things <laughs> and some people might even complain about these things but I just feel that this is normal you see that dark a bit over there that's where the sea weed or sea grass or whatever you want to call it starts now here you will have just a tiny bit and pieces oh like over here for example you know you can see there's a little bit over here but majority of the sea is nice and clear Negril Negril beach is like one of the be most beautiful beaches I've ever seen in my life no scrap that Negril is the seven mile beach in Negril is uh, the most beautiful beach I've ever seen in my life it is yes so I've seen some beautiful beaches but it's just when it comes to pristine and clear and just just vast and uh, oh, and there's lots of activities on it or on the beach and uh, it's just lots happening and and it's peaceful it's, it just has everything so yeah um, now obviously this is not the grill and it's, it's not close to it but it has that vibe you know especially because it's very clear uh, especially because it is vast um, so Rio Beach is quite big um, so I think it ends here so I'm kind of at one end of it okay but now you can see that all of this this is all the hot and it kind of ends somewhere there uh, yeah you see this building there that's actually sandals uh, and that's where it ends so the beach is quite big and you've got so much space to swim and yeah up to there somewhere so I'm impressed with the beach I feel so blessed to be here today right now all right that's nice That was epic. And the fish are oh, so cute. Oh my god. So cute. So I just need to get a better goggle because these are my swimming goggles. Um, like pool swimming goggles. Uh, yeah, so I can feel it in my nose. <laughs> but that was really nice. Yeah. I, I can I can understand why uh, people like snorkeling and going around coral reefs although it is a bit scary when you go a bit deeper so um, but yeah this kind of very shallow snorkeling <laughs> yeah this is for me <laughs> i like it i like it i really like it it's so beautiful
Guys, I want to just point out the sarcasm situation, uh, the seaweed that washes on the coast of Caribbean and Florida and Mexico. See these guys? They're doing a great job. I'll tell you why. Because if you don't wake up early, you will not know that this was here. You will not know that these guys cleared the whole beach of like tons of seaweed so i just want to big up all the people that do this whether it's rio or any other hotel in the whole caribbean or anywhere you are for that matter whoever you are and you are doing this job guys honestly i've seen it it, it is is a lot and they wake up very early to clear the beach so big up yourself you're doing a great job also you know what that does as well anything that washes on the beach any plastic that's cleared as well so it's not just you know um, clearing it because you know tourists and <clears throat> you know just people that want to use the beach it's not just that um, you know anything that washes up on the beach it is cleared so it is I don't want to say saving the planet <laughs> but keeping nature intact and clear keeping the oceans clear and I think that's very very important yeah Now for the food. Like in most resorts, you will have a great variety of cuisines to choose from. Therefore, a buffet is most likely where you will find your favorite dish. Breakfast was served at the main buffet as well as at the Piacenza restaurant, which we actually preferred as it was less busy. Therefore, my favorite dish, Aki and Saltfish, was always available. That makes me happy. <laughs> Jerk chicken. Let's see how that goes because I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. Let's have some food. I've got sushi. <laughs> Who would have thought? I'm super happy with that. That's how it goes. In all exclusive, you need to try everything, guys. Nice. As for lunch, the buffet was still our preferred place to eat. Uh, but there are other options on the table, so here is our experience at Pepe's Jerk Hut. Alright guys, I'm in Pepe's! <laughs> We're gonna have some jerk pepe. No, pepe jerk. Yeah, man, let's see. What did you think of pepe? Um, it's definitely not scotchy, but you know, it will do. <laughs> I support that. I really do. It was it was a nice chicken, but not necessarily uh, yeah. as jerked as we would like. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to grab a quick snack, like a patty sandwich or a hot dog, the sports bar is your place and is open 24-7. Guess what? Dinners were hands down best at the buffet. The food is actually really nice. I'm gonna have some cakes, guys. I'm having cake. Mm. Very nice. And this one, I don't know what that is. 
chiste? I've got an egg with mashed potatoes and mushrooms. I was like a little cracker. One of the evenings we've tried the French restaurant. Um, the restaurant itself was beautiful. The food was okay, but not to die for. Bars are located in many different locations, so you'll have a quick access to drinks anywhere on the property. Hi. I'm drinking Tropical Beach cocktail. It's non-alcoholic, guys, but it's nice. View. It's actually really nice. We stayed at Junior Suite with Sea View, and here is my little tour. As you walk in, you've got this beautiful closet uh, with some essentials. So from ironing board and iron to extra blanket if you need one, lots of hangers. Okay. And on this side, safe, some metal cabinet, possibly for the shoes and extra blanket. Now, moving on to the main part, so we've seen the uh, bar and the coffee coffee section together with the um, mini fridge. Now moving on to the main part, this is our room. It is ocean view. Here you have it. Beautiful double bed. Now we've got obviously extra bed for JD. The decor is nice as you can see you've got a bit of uh, design going on the pillows are matching the actual paintings it's pretty cool yeah plenty space for your suitcases or bag beach bag big flat screen tv another cabinet just by the uh, balcony and here is the balcony so guys we are on the second floor right okay the view we've got the grounds <laughs> we've got the grounds view we've got the building view then we have the pool just about I can see the pool I don't mind because I like having a bit of privacy so I don't necessarily want to see people in the pool and then as you can see over there is the is the sea I'm really happy with this room guys because it's nicely tucked away as you can see your neighbors won't pretty much see you you've got nice double 
two two chairs over here and this is my favorite part and you don't have it in all resorts but i love this <sighs> it saves you hanging it on the on the chairs or there you go pretty much yeah so yeah i think the room is very comfortable and very spacious as you can see because if it was just two of us this would be more than enough space and now for the main part the entertainment so far in this video uh, we've been exploring the daytime activities possibly leaving the best for the last Ryu has a huge entertainment area split into two sides so pretty much when one show ends on one side the other starts on the other side uh, without any delays and every night every night something exciting is happening often themed uh, therefore the whole entertainment section gets decorated and guys while i don't like to showcase too much of the actual shows simply because i don't want to spoil it for you uh, when it comes to real i really have to whet your appetite Without a doubt, Ryu tops the resort entertainment on the north coast. There was a show after show, party after party, and everyone had so much fun from the youngest ones to the seniors. The party mood was on every night. We had an all-white party on the beach and another night we had a glow party, all in between amazing performances. I have never been to a resort that puts so much effort into its evening entertainment. Just take a look. It's so bizarre. It always rains on the last day of our holiday.
I always feel like the nature reflects my mood <laughs> on my last days. So bizarre. I'll surely miss this place. <laughs> this place is so much fun. Yeah. And we definitely need to book our next vacation here. I can't wait. <laughs> another beautiful holiday, another beautiful resort and another amazing memory to treasure. Guys, let me know what you think of Rio Resort in Ocho Rios, Jamaica in the comment section. Have you stayed here before? If yes, what was your favorite part about this place? My top three are, of course, the incredible entertainment, the beautiful beach and the location as you are literally just around the corner from Dance River Falls and Ocho Rios town. We really enjoyed our stay here and I hope this video will help you make your decision if you are considering staying at Rio. That's all from me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.